All right, what is up, guys? It is Krash seven four three five. Um, back with another good video. Um, I wanted to play some Battlefield three, and um, yeah, let's get right to it, man. Um, I got you know some good content to share. I mainly do it to upload to the to the BitTubers. So, all right, let's go. All right, so uh, basically, as far as like everything else is went. Um, I really do apologize for, I guess, like, uh, the amount of, like, I guess, content that I haven't been able to be consistent on, but, um, you know, when it comes to, like, trying to get everything, you know, uploaded to YouTube, um, I, I tend to have, like, a bit of a problem trying to get everything, you know, you know, process all the way, so... Um, I think I think it's really you know a bit of a problem on my behalf, but I try to get everything out there for y'all, and um, yeah, hopefully like we can try to get more content out. Um, yeah, like I wasn't uh, trying to go to that game mode, but yeah, um, I understand that you probably you know see that I'm using OBS. Uh, the reason why is because. Um, Unfortunately, I got myself a good gaming laptop. It's a ROG Zephyrus um, G15 GA502DU um, gaming laptop. And um, unfortunately for this laptop, in which I'm actually going to bring out a good story, um, uh, this laptop only supports Windows 10. You know, which you know, which um, really sucks. But um, I usually use um, ArcSoft Showbiz. And I guess with ArcSoft, um, my computer cannot save the video files for ArcSoft, which is really dumb, and I don't see that the issue of why I can't use, um, you know, like their product for Windows 10, but, I mean, ArcSoft is a pretty old, you know, old uh, company, so I think that's, I think that's not the problem, you know, that the developers don't, you know, update their product in order to transfer to newer, um, I guess, like, uh, operating systems. So if they can do that, that would be ten times better to do. So that way people can get their, um, get, like, you know, get their softwares transferred onto their newer computers. But um, I guess from now on, I'm just going to use OBS Studio. Um, I guess uh, this will be, like, my new thing to use because... Uh, you know, I could use other ones. I could use Cyberlink, Cyber, Cyberlink or CyberPower DVD, but I don't like using that for some odd reason. So I think OBS Studio is way better because at least I have more power and control with this PC. Or it's not a PC; it's a gaming laptop. So this laptop can offer me more, uh, better graphics and better, you know, quality. And I mean, I can actually play pretty well on this too. So. I don't actually mind it, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, did y'all see that, man? Oh my god. Yeah, after this video, I'm probably just gonna get back into IT studying, but... Yeah, man, you know, everything's been good, you know, um... You know, this whole Corona BS is... Not really treating me well, but I'm trying to get by. Um... I've been, you know, studying a lot for my A-plus certification, and... Once I get that done, I'm gonna probably just keep, you know, improving on my skills for that so I could try to get me into IT because uh, that's pretty much like my goal this year you know I recently had my birthday like seven days ago so um, I'm actually 25 now <laughs> in which uh, you know I can't I can't really say that I feel old yet um, I think I think I'll say that five years from now but um now nah, like I'm just trying to do what I have to do because um you know, my goal is to actually get me into video game developing, so I need to get back into making my game, or I can try working towards uh, getting my A-plus certification, so, you know, once that's done, 
I could probably get that completed. Hold on. Uh, let me let me uh, just get you know let the speakers down. You know it's it's a bit too loud, but all right. So basically, what I was trying to say is that you know when it comes to uh, getting things done, um, I have a lot to go for, and um, you know I want to try to like achieve getting the uh, A plus done as soon as possible so that way I can have a good income you know for computer science because um, I mean you know my whole philosophy of college is like I don't like school and I think that the more smarter in individuals are the ones who drop out of school that's not certainly the case with everybody but you know college doesn't prepare you to be intelligent or to have you know you know any knowledge of making more money in life so that's why you know I was kind of happy to be like referred by my father to uh, go for the A plus certification so uh, that's a certification trade program uh, offered by CompTIA and um, if y'all don't know what CompTIA is, CompTIA is a computer subsidiary company uh, from Cisco actually and um, they uh, they basically just give out certifications or you know they train people right on uh, being you know professionals and like you know computer help desk security uh, things like that to that nature and that's basically what I want to do uh, I just want to get in so once I get in people already know me and then once I get into like the game you know, pretty much of the gaming industry and, and pretty much of the game of IT, um, people will contact me and they'll definitely want to do some business with me. So I think I think that's really going to be like the brightest future for me because uh, just getting a certification is good enough, even though that we live in a status world, you know, um, in a white market. So it's not good enough to just keep waiting to try to go back to school and you know that's really what's you know screwing up like a lot of young people but I was happy enough to get out of college and I mean with this like economy really like being so bad to go back to school um yeah like I would not ever want to go back to college you know if I were making like millions of dollars in computers and then you know what you know I'm just gonna go back to school no I don't want to do that I mean, yeah, it would be nice to probably just go back to college, maybe just, uh, you know, take a class or two, but it's like, when you really think about it, going to school is nothing more than studying philosophy of whatever you're trying to learn, but that was, like, mainly what the whole point of college when it was first established, like, colleges were mainly used as a philosophy grounds, that's why you had people like Socrates, Plato, you know, all of what the great philosophers, but, I mean, as college progressed, you know, and um, college, you know, got more centralized by, by a government, uh, that's when college became meaningless because, you know, nobody doesn't want to go to school and, you know, basically learn. People are just going to school just to party and just basically screw, like, basically just not be productive and I mean that's globally anyway it doesn't matter what country you're from you should just have your experience be grown in a market competition because uh, I personally believe that um, you know you deserve to get paid for the skills that you're willing to be taught for you know um, that's pretty much at the whole value of having a decentralized market and, you know, like, you can disagree with me all you want, but last time I checked, entrepreneurs don't look at people with degrees. They look at people that are willing to work, and if they're able to be trained for the position, then I don't see what's left the problem with that versus, like, Tommy or Cindy that goes to school to become a philosopher, and then by the time when they graduate, then what happens? Like... I mean, like, I understand people like Jordan Peterson are out there, but Jordan Peterson got a... Oh, man, I forgot what Jordan Peterson got. Do, like, doesn't he have, like, a PhD in, like, in, like, philosophy or psychology? But, like, I mean, like, for stuff like that, it's like, you don't need any of that to work 
in that type of market. Like that can easily be provided in some market competition of philosophers that could hire you, train you on on certain principles and uh, ethics. So like I don't see that the issue. It's just like the fact that I guess people, you know, are not that um, educated on eco on um, economics. So they try to think that the government is like their life savior of giving them, you know, I guess their education per se. So I just find that really stupid because, you know, that's not what college is really built to be. And, you know, in a free market, you know, in a free market decentralized or a decentralized model of it, right? Like a market anarchy that would be more structured around like the consumers where people can like determine what colleges are valuable versus those that are not and it would kind of be like structured in certain fields or you know i guess like job training specialization fields right where like when you work for a business they can actually like co-op with these colleges to like put you in school to say, hey, you know, you know, we have like a training program here at Duke University for sports medicine, and we can actually train you through Duke to make you, you know, understand like your job better because you'll be working with active people that are doing the same thing for their job. But it would be worth it because even people that are working like a regular job, and let's just say. You know they get sick or they get hurt and they got to go to the hospital maybe some of those patients can work with other hospitals um or basically those those training programs that are that are co-sponsored with like you know market driven universities can work with hospitals to take care of patients on a low tier level working up to a higher tier high, higher tier level i'm just saying that for like stuff like sports medicine but you know, vice versa, you know, businesses could do that, but, I mean, colleges really wouldn't be that much valuable once you have it in that type of sector, because people would just decide to be like, okay, well, if my business can train me in what I want to do, then, uh, then there's really no point of having me do that, and I could just have, you know, let the training be provided through the company, and I could start off as an apprentice, and then I work my way up to become you know, like a higher, like higher end, you know, executive manager or like whatever, you know. So I think that would be like the better way to do it because, you know, like you already kind of see that now. But, you know, certain positions in certain fields, you know, require some form of a BS, you know, degree because government regulations, you know, restrict people to, to, to promote themselves to that level, which is absolutely bad and... I'm totally up against that. But, um, nah, man. Basically, I'm just trying to go for my A-plus, man. I just want to get this done so that way I can complete everything. Uh, and then once I get that completed, um, I'm gonna go straight into the computer industry. And then we'll probably just move on from there, to be honest. But I think I got everything straight, you know? Um, I think, I think everything is gonna come out strong. That's not so this corona BS can can be over, man. Like I'm not I'm not liking this at all. This is like messing up a lot of people's futures. But um hopefully I can get stuff done and I can make my way. Yeah, what was he thinking? <laughs> Yo, I just fucking murked him. I just murked him, man. Yeah, I haven't I have never made any voice commentary on a video game since like what, Battlefield, right? But, um, I find it funny because, you know, I used to use, a uh, Hop Hog HDP VR 2, and, um, once I, you know, started to get newer technology, um, where I don't really need to use it anymore, which, I guess I just haven't decided to just use HDP VR. I mainly use ArcSoft Showbiz, and uh, easy cap in order to record my videos and I guess maybe like for some of you that ask me like oh well you know why like, why are you uh, basically I'm recording so many gaming videos and uh, the reason is is because um, I'm actually using that as a main source of content to upload to BitTube 
Um, if y'all don't know what BitTube is, uh, please uh, uh, check it out, BitTubers.tv. Uh, um, it's basically like a decentralized, you know, like, you know, website, uh, similar to YouTube, where people post, you know, video shared content. And, uh, um, um, you also get paid for, like, like, for airtime with cryptocurrency. But, um, it's actually a pretty good, you know, website, in my opinion. But, um, you know, what I'm trying to do is that, you know, I'm just going to link my YouTube account, you know, which I already did, you know, through BitTubers. And then, you know, the, the content that I receive with, uh, BitTubers, or... No, no, but the content that I upload through YouTube can just automatically go to BitTubers, so I just have my YouTube account linked with BitTubers, and it makes it ten times easier for me to get things done. So, that's basically, like, my whole plan with using that, because, you know, I think YouTube is, like, going to fall apart. Like, it, like, it seems very close, you know, to YouTube's end of having to be a platform. But, um, I mean, I'm just going to use this, uh, channel as a, like, as, like, a primer for my BitTube account. And, I mean, if y'all use BitTubers, you know, this is, like, my same name uh, for, uh, BitTubers, so, um, you guys can check me out right on there. And, um, I'll be posting content there, um, more, like, more unlikely, but I'm not going to just work my way up to be a video to be like a video producer um, or like a content creator. Um, I got other career aspirations that I'm going for, but I, um, I like doing it as like a hobby. But um, um, I do other things. I also still code. I gotta get back into it so I can start working on my video game. Then once I got that done, I'm gonna just work my way up towards uh, publishing my game and then just keep on getting my certification for IT. So, uh, that's pretty much up the whole thing. And these guys are pretty good. Even though that we, uh, joined the server, you know, pretty late, but it don't matter to me. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go uh, to the bathroom soon. I'll be back again to you know, record another video, so I will see y'all later and I'll be right back.